Hey guys, happy new year 2022. It's Lena from the Land of Gods. 2022 is here, my loves. We are starting with the monthlies. This one is for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're gonna be doing it a little different. The spread's gonna be not the same as we had for the monthlies 2021. So hang in tight and I'm gonna let you know what all I'm gonna do. We are gonna have, okay, I told this one as well. We're gonna have some of the Oracle cards pulled out already and gonna keep it on the side whenever I get a go ahead. I'm gonna open this and see how things are gonna go how the message is really going with the flow. The flow, the spread is gonna be different. We are jumping straight into the tarot now. In the middle, you will see the general, the situation, the, the current, past, future, what's driving us for this and what's motivating us to go forward, okay? On the left, you will see the love reading and on the right, you will see money and career. That's how we're gonna go about the monthlies. So let's jump in, Capricorns. Wow, okay. We have two. We have Hierophant and Princess of Cups as the present energy. There's a young energy with a lot of potential coming in. This young energy has something that can go long term. This young energy has a certain pull that you feel at this point in time what's driving us is the hang woman thinking thinking about things transformation bringing in something new waiting yeah what is in the past we have the princess of coins so yeah we've been sitting on this for quite a while this this whatever new potential possibility or opportunity or idea that was to come or that is to come king of swords clarity planning homework blueprints that's all i see here and future has the chariot we're gonna move we're gonna move from here from all this you know contemplating energy you know kind of held back energy to let's get things going let's go all right love reading we're gonna keep it on the side and gonna get there when it's time and then we have the career right here all right overall we have the two of swords there's something that we are being indecisive about soon it doesn't seem like we're gonna be but at this point in time we are indecisive about something there's something that we have been really sitting upon for quite a while now i feel yeah i'm told open this okay sacred plan there's a plan in place for you yep there's a reason why you are actually giving so much of energy and putting in so much of time and thinking about this particular opportunity or idea. You've not dropped the ball yet and there's a reason for it. So think about before you, you know, wrap it or push it under the rug. Yeah. Hierophant and the Page of Cups spirit. Eight of Swords, you feel stuck. See, there is a held back energy. There is a lot of contemplation going on. There is something that you feel somehow. Um, there's some kind of mental block that we are not able to get over. That is the reason why we are just, you know, uh, just kind of. I don't know. There's something that you are trying to look into. Look, we've got. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, this is something that can be huge and probably that's the reason you are taking your time to think about things because you know that one wrong decision can mess things up, but it seems like that in itself is creating a block for you. You're not able to think with an open perspective because you know there's a lot at stake. There's a lot of, yeah. Four of Swords and Seven of Cups. That's the reason. We have been healing from something. We needed a break. This was a breather that you took. There was there were lots of options coming in, but there was also a lot of confusion, I feel. Yeah. When this this 
idea showed itself to you it just appeared and you were not prepared for it you don't seem to be at this point in time also or you know how much it can change things around and maybe the change that we are talking about it's something that is giving you jitters yeah you might not be really prepared for that but let's see what is motivating us now king of cups with the king of swords having a clear plan and be able to have control over your emotions judgment along with that huge cards right there we have judgment king of cups and king of sword this is planning this is finally getting a grip over your emotions and more than grip i'm told finally connecting with your emotion how you truly feel about all of this thinking not just from the mind but also from the heart having that balance of mind and heart and be able to take that final call that judgment call yeah that is what is motivating us and we are moving clearly after having that we are definitely in the near future seem to be moving we are getting on that chariot eight of rods communication coming your way yeah we are getting out of this stuck held back energy towards let's let's have a chat about this let's talk let's talk business five of rods with the two of swords as the overall clearly there is competition and conflict and the reason why there was so much of confusion because as i said without the competition you know you don't really feel the sweetness of the fruits that you reap yep if something comes easy to you you don't really value it do you so yeah looks like things are gonna move in the right direction in a fruitful way for you my capricorns let's jump into love reading before that i'm told open this within the next few weeks woo okay within the next few weeks some communication coming your way that is going to move this situation wherever this is stuck all right now look at that whoa okay three of cups the tower the king of cups hmm wow all right let's clarify before we say anything let's clarify three of cups the tower and king of cups spirit please clarify this the higher priestess there is something that your gut is trying to tell you as far as your love and romance is concerned there's something that your gut is trying to tell you something that does not feel right even if it seems like you guys are having fun there's something that doesn't feel right your gut's telling you nah you know that tiny voice that you keep shutting yeah you've been shutting up that tiny voice that's been trying to tell you there's something up there's something that doesn't feel right and it doesn't have to be something fishy okay this could be how you want the connection to be deeper than it is but not really able to or there is not really an exchange of words or expression or you guys are not on the same page but you pretend that you are that you guys are having a good time fun time but one of the person involved or one of the parties involved in this wants more than the other one is giving yeah so you are like no it's okay i'm having a good time but uh, yeah there's something there i don't know what that is but there is something there spirit more to that ten of rods in the reverse yeah someone is not able to get over something we have devil in the reverse and six of swords see someone has not dropped the baggage from the past someone has not been able to break toxic chains someone has not been able to let go of the toxicity of the past and that is in some ways not just hampering your relationship at this point in time if you are in a relationship but also not letting it grow further like there are barriers 
I really actually see those, you know, barriers coming up. Those iron barriers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, King of Cups sits there in isolation with his own Im emotions and has a lot of control over the emotion. Doesn't really show much. Doesn't really show much. Feels a lot, but doesn't show much. So I do feel that you guys are having fun and all, but there is this tower moment that had happened in someone's life and that tower moment is is what your gut is telling you. This is what is not right. This is what is not right. Someone is not able to drop the past baggage. Someone did land up being with the devil, but not able to move to calmer waters. Maybe, maybe for a few, this is a rebound. Okay, not for everybody. So communication, one needs to really talk about this. There is a lack of communication here. I'm told open that. Okay, what is it? Peaceful resolution. You guys need to talk to sort this out before this kind of messes things up. Because it seems you guys are having a good time and there's a connection and all of that. But this needs to be talked about. Do not ignore your tiny voice. Do not ignore your gut feeling. That's the way your angels tell you. That's the way your angels talk to you. So do not do that. Don't. Career and money. Da 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 da. What? Look at that. The sun and the fool and the seven of coins in the middle of that. Wow, people. Capricorns. Career and money looks good looks very good with the sun you are planting the seeds you're re ready to take that leap of faith it looks absolutely wonderful yeah there's hope there is fun there is joy you do not really feel shy of putting that effort because it seems that it's it's you know coming to it's showing results, whatever effort that you are putting in. Yeah, you see that things are kind of moving. Queen of Pentacles. We are talking about Pentacles. Look, in the general situation as well, we had the Ten of Pentacles with the Hanged Woman. This is what, what has been the driving force of the confusion and all. It seems like there is something really coming up that has a lot of potential. We are talking about quite a lot of money. Queen of Pentacles with the sun. Are we talking about money or are we talking about money? Yes, we are talking about abundance. We are talking about really good times coming for you. Yeah, you have really done the homework that you had to do. We had the seven of coins here. Look here, we were talking about all the homework that we have to do, you know, come to that point where we have that balance of mind and heart, the planning along with feeling it right into your bones. You know, you need to feel it to take that final call and you are taking that final call and you are taking that leap of faith. You are taking it. Yeah, you are moving. There is that sense of movement king of swords look we have the king of swords again we were talking about this and the king of rods and the king of cups wow king of cups twice and the other two kings of the rod and the sword we are determined we are really keeping our eye on the prize we are planning and planning like how at the same time we are staying in touch with our emotions we are not being all cold-hearted about it no 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 we are feeling the passion for this wow look at that look at that that is good news that is very good news for you guys the only thing that we need to really look into is this five of pentacles that lag there's something missing that missing thing that we need to figure out otherwise looks like a great start for the new year my capricorns on that note, I'm going to take your leave. Thank you for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.